On the Best Jew, of course, this is a Monday through Friday broadcast, 10 a.m. Central Time. And we normally take these and we do upload them to YouTube. If you want to go to Paul Lumen on YouTube, you can see a few of the past broadcasts. But in the Best You, it's really about helping all of us, helping me, helping you, you know, become the person uh, that can live life in just maximum capacity. You know, we can really do the things that we're called and designed to do and uh, to really become that version of ourself that attracts success. And I know that may sound kind of philosophy mumbo jumbo, but I believe there's a lot of convicting truth to it. Uh, we can, we can become higher, better versions of ourselves and remain authentic and real in the process. Well, this morning, we're talking about how to inspire others. We talk a lot about leadership development, certainly personal growth and development on this broadcast. And, uh, you know, inspiration, inspiration is one of those topics. I think we hear a lot about it. You know, this inspired me. I read a book that inspired me. I sat in a, uh, I sat in a church service and the speaker inspired me. I was having a conversation with a friend over lunch and the conversation inspired me. Maybe I, I watched a television show and the content inspired me. You know, I think one of the primary traits of great leaders is their ability to inspire others. Would you agree with that? One of the primary traits of great leaders is their ability to inspire others. Now, here's what I know for a fact, and you probably know this, and if you don't, you're learning this. You can't make anyone produce better results. You just can't. You can't force an excellent spirit. As a matter of fact, one of the most frustrating classes you can ever take is demanding someone to improve from the inside simply because of your position or your title. Fact is, they won't do it. They simply will not do it. If you're leading an organization, we have a lot of people on that are in network marketing or multi-level marketing. And uh, we understand that all of our success is tied to success of individuals inside of that organization. And man, you wish, you wish that you could just take someone and force them to be successful. And sometimes you want it more than they do. You talk about a frustrating class to take, demanding that someone be excellent, demanding that someone be productive and have excellence from the inside out. They simply won't do it just because you want them to do it. Here's the fact. Personal growth is what? It's personal. Personal development is personal. And at the end of the day, individuals create their own designs. We all create our own stories. We are the CEO of our own lives. We hear that said all the time. And if someone in your organization, if someone in your family, whether it's your children or maybe even your spouse, you know, if they're going to produce better results, it's because they've made a decision to produce better results. Someone in your team, if they're going to reach peak performance, it's because that individual, something clicked in their mind and they deliberately created some action, changed some mindset to the degree that they created peak performance. You can't do it for them. You just can't. And it's frustrating for them and for you if you continue to try. But all that said, great leaders have learned a secret that managers have yet to grasp. And here it is. Great leaders have learned to inspire. They've learned to inspire. You can't do it for them, but great leaders inspire others. They inspire others to dream. Great leaders inspire others to form uh, better habits. They inspire others to push beyond boundaries. You know, people have left the streets because of inspiration. 
People have challenged the status quo. They've made statements. They've taken stands, civil stands and social stands because of inspiration. There have been people that have abandoned poverty and a, a poverty mindset because of inspiration, because someone inspired them. They made the decision to get up. They made the decision to take a stand. They made the decision to change their life. But there was a word. There was a conversation, something, something they read, something they saw, but something inspired that person to get up from where they were and go do something, right? Inspiration. And as leaders, it's one of the number one things I think we can work on and see immediate dividends is when we begin to learn to inspire. So let me give you a few ways that just from personal experience that I think we can inspire others. If you want to write this down, number one, if you really want to inspire others, if you want to inspire your organization, if you want to inspire your social circle, number one, be inspiring. That's pretty simple, isn't it? But if you want to inspire others, be inspirational. And what I mean by that is show others the possibilities. Show others that anything truly can happen. Sometimes to, to really inspire other people, all it takes is for you to be great. I mean, just be greatness. Challenge yourself and then go public with your challenges. Go public with your vision. Go public with your dreams. And sometimes just by you being inspiring, someone that you don't even know is watching you, Someone that's just watching you on social media or watching you indirectly through someone else. That's all it takes for that person to stand up and say, you know what? I can do it too. If Heather did it, I can do it. If Becky did it, if Jan did it, if Kathy did it, hey, I can do it as well. Be inspiring. Be that person that when you walk in the room and you step into a conversation, people leave that conversation and they say, Wow, that person made me think. That person made me better. That person made me stretch. That person made me want to, to do something different. Because they're inspiring and our conversation should be inspiring. And our actions and our vision and our dreams should be inspiring. Here's another thing we can do if we really want to inspire others. And this is the big one. And I think some people get this wrong. I know I got this wrong for a long time and I still struggle with it today. Is be real. Be inspiring. Dream big. Be Superman. But keep it real. Because here's what I know. Perfection. It's not inspiring. Perfection is not inspiring. You know what perfection is? Perfection is condemning because people will look at you and say, wow, I would love to live that kind of life. I would love to take those types of risk, but man, I'm just not as strong as she is, man. I'm just not as talented as he is. I just don't have it all together. I have some, I have some bad days. And everything's not always perfect. I've got some stuff in the past and I've got some baggage and I've got some issues. There's some things going on, right? And if I could just be like him, then yeah, I could do it. But man, I'm just, I'm not like him. Hey, here's the thing. Even winners get scared. It's a fact. Even winners go through losses. Even winners have tough days. They have blue Mondays or black Fridays. And here's the thing. If you really want to inspire others, get out there and be greatness and dream big and proclaim it, but also keep it real and be authentic and be honest about the entire path because that's relatable. And what you're looking to do in inspiring others is to create a relatable journey where someone can see your journey 
And they're provoked to bigger dreams and better actions. But in a way that they say, I can do it too. I can do it too. If you're a Christian, you understand the power of the life of Jesus Christ. Right? He was man and God. So he had flesh and tempted like we were. Right? That's part of that great story. Same way in our own leadership. We have to be flesh. And we have to have emotions and we have to go through struggles. People have to know that they can relate to our journey. Be real. Share your stories. Tell your story. Tell your story of how, you know, how you, how you came out of so much fear and so many limiting beliefs, but you overcame. And how you fell, but you got back up. How you stumbled, but you didn't quit. Friend, that is inspiring. Much more inspiring than someone wearing a mask and being perfect all the time. Hey, here's the third thing. I'm going to give you four today, but here's the third one. If you want to be inspiring, be life-giving. Be life-giving. One of my favorite uh, connected words. Be life-giving. What do I mean by that? Speak life into the destiny of other people. Because the world is always speaking fear, right? And there are people in our lives that are always criticizing and they're, they're, they're pushing down our faith and they're minimizing our dreams. Well, be the person that speaks life into other people. That speaks life into those daunting dreams because they're scared, They're scared to to, to state their dream. They're scared to go public with their vision, right? Speak life into that. Embrace it. Prop it up. Be a foundation that they can build their dreams on. Uh, Ask about their process. Make them think bigger than they're thinking today. But be that person that's always speaking life into the dreams of other people. Here's the fourth one, the last one. If you really want to be inspirational, be a coach. Be a coach. I believe in celebrating wins, every single win that we can find. Celebrate a win. But you know what? There are cheerleaders out there. And and I'm not advocating that anyone be a cheerleader because cheerleaders cheer everything. You know? They're just out there cheering. I was at a football game last night for middle school. And I thought it was so funny. The other team scored. And man, our, our little cheerleaders, they were so cute. Man, they were cheering like crazy. And the other team just scored. And uh, and they're leading the fans in a cheer. And I'm thinking, wow, they're just cheering over everything. I'm not saying be a cheerleader. I'm saying be a coach. Because a coach, they're going to celebrate you when you do something right. They're going to slap you on the back. They're going to say, great job. But they're also going to be there to push you. They're also going to be there to challenge you, to make sure that you're giving your very best. If you want to inspire other people, be a coach, celebrate wins and calibrate losses. The fact is, you can't coach the unwilling. But as a coach, you can push. The Bible says it this way. Provoke one another to good works. Ever heard that? Provoke one another to good works. And that's what we can do for one another. So here's the question. Who can we inspire today? Right? Who in our world can we go inspire today? What family member? What friend? What coworker? Who, who on our team can we go and inspire today? And, and what story have you lived that if shared would inspire others? What have you been through? What have you overcome? What obstacles Have you faced that you found victory? And what stories can you share that will inspire other people? Friend, just go be inspiring. But be real in the process. Be life-giving. And friend, be that coach. I hope this was good. We're so glad to have all of you on. And again, thank you for all of the hearts. Thank you for inviting your friends to, to, to be a part this morning. Oh, you're so kind. Thank you so much, Kim. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks so much. And uh, again, looking forward to Tulsa, Oklahoma this weekend. We'll be there Sunday. If you know anyone in the area, 
invite them to paulluman.com. We want to get people registered today if possible because we're still in the process of selecting of selecting that venue. We need to know exactly how many are going to be there. So again, thanks for being on. We'll see you right back here tomorrow morning for the best you, 10 a.m. Central Time. God bless. We love you.